Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rukah Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Rukah Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth which is a gift from our Saviour, Yehawah Shai. My double honours to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful let spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquat, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yarayaya Sharala from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to share uh, a vision that our brother, who is who is learning this truth, but you know, you know, he's being taught the truth, but it's still he's still here and there. You know, he's not he's not he's not really put into his best. You know, so the most I gave him a very you know terrifying um, vision. And mind you, this is um, this is an Italian Jake. You know um from from a family born in naples you know or uh, so-called white looking italian you know so the brother kalam which is the other brother of the great millstone gms italia camp you know he was trying he's been trying to teach this this young man because you know the the, the, the family friends or something like that you know so he sent me the voice message of of this brother you know he had a very terrible and at the same time, you know, exciting um, vision. So without too much talk, um, the, the, the young man had a dream. He had a vision that, you know, he was just in his house with his wife and his son. And they were actually with some other friend that also had a wife and a son. And all of a sudden, they started hearing... Um, gunshots you know like um like the machine gun you know they were hearing the machine gun so they, they all came out to look what was going on now at first they actually thought it was fireworks okay so i'm trying to you know put together the the the, the voice message because it's in italian and if i play it in italian you know um people wouldn't understand but the brother kalam already did the lesson in italian so to cut the long story short, they heard this machine gun that sounded like, you know, fireworks. They came out and they saw that, you know, it was actually, um, it was actually gunshots, you know, machine gun, you know. So they were looking and they saw that um, there was smoke in the sky and they saw that um, a so-called UFO, which is a chariot, okay, the chariot of the angels of the Most High, Yahweh Shemi Shai, just like you see on the screen was being shot at okay so he noticed that the bullets that were being shot at this um chariots they would just you know bounce back you know and do no effect and it was the scene the scene was chaotic and he started thinking to himself man this is what the the brother kalam has been telling me that you know a day of judgment or something like that and he, he told his wife hey let's let's run to our mother's house you know and we stay there and whatever happens happen you know so they got to the to his mother's house and he was trying to explain to his wife that hey listen um the brother kalam has been teaching me about these things that he's been telling me that there is a great day of judgment coming you know and the wife you know was like hey stop that thing stop getting me scared and all that thing you know so to cut the long story short, you know, things was getting really worse, you know. So he was trying to, no, he found himself that he was all alone. There was nobody. And he said there were lots of dead bodies. He said people were actually burned, you know, people were fried. And this is someone that doesn't know the scriptures. This is someone that, you know. The brother's been trying to teach, but, you know, still going back to do his wickedness and all that thing, you know. 
so it, it has no knowledge of the scriptures you know but the, everything that he said was you know is scriptural you know he said everyone was born you know he saw people born you know and he was left all alone there was no one around him he couldn't find his mom he couldn't find his wife his son he found no one so he tried he started trying to call the brother kalam on the phone but he said the phone wasn't going through probably maybe because there was no no network or something you know but he couldn't get through to the brother and you know he said after the war born he saw that you know um he just found himself that he had um like a blue blue garment on so he was wondering how come you know he has this blue garment on and he noticed that you know the, the um, some kind of new plants started growing you know new plants started growing and he, he looked around and he saw other people wearing the same blue garments like he had and the brother testified that you know he saw these people it seemed like he knew them but he doesn't know but you know he saw everyone was just happy you know and he said the majority of those people are, are actually dark-skinned people you know the so-called negroes you know he saw these people and he was just wondering you know everyone was happy you know he himself he was happy then he saw a long queue and he was walking towards the queue and right at the top of the queue he found the brother kalam you know and you know this is how he handed his his, his um his vision you know and when the brother sent me the the voice notes that the the this young man sent to him about the dream i was like kalala yaba shimiao shai you know the most i gave this young man you know a beautiful vision of what's about to come and you see uh, the scripture tells you that um, the Most High speaks to, 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 to man once and twice, but he, he perceived it not, you know. The Most High is actually, you know, having mercy on this young man, you know, giving him this vision so he can amend his ways. And a few points that caught me in this, um, in this vision was, you know, when he said, he said, um, um, he said, um, at first, he was trying to convince, tell his wife that, hey, um, the brother Kalam has been telling me about this day that's going to come and all this thing, you know. The wife just became a demon and, you know, cut him off. Then he later found himself without his wife, without his mother, without anybody. He found himself all alone. And that's really powerful because, you see, this journey that we've taken, this walk, is a, is a one-man soldier thing, you know. A soldier, the word soldier comes from the word, you know, solo, a one man, you know. So you see many of our brothers, they've, they've been, they've, they, 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 um, what's the word? Many of our brothers, you know, um, they fall short of this thing. They fall short of this truth. They go back to the world becoming demons because of certain people that they, that they care for, you know. And this truth is not to be traded for no man, for anyone, you know, not even for your, for your own wife or your mother or anyone. You know, because once you come into this truth, those are the people that are going to jump on you at first with all different kinds of demons trying to pull you out, you know. So this is this is the time you should be seeking the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, just like the brother, you know. Um, um, he was trying to call the brother Kalam, but the phone wasn't going through, you know. In the day of trouble, people are going to seek for, 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 for the prophets. But the prophets have been teaching on the streets, you know decades man you know but no one is no one is is responding but the elect they they, they saw them they they hearkened to the truth they picked it up and they went on you know but the foolish ones you know they just see them and walk by you know but the days are coming in which you you would wish to see one of these prophets teach you this truth when all else start breaking loose you know and you you're not going to see anyone to help you man you know you're all going to find yourself all alone. And that's why the scripture says in the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6. It says, Seek ye Yahweh Hashem Yahushai where it may be found. Okay. Why is it? Why is it doing like this? Just please bear with me. Okay. It says, 
Seek ye Yahweh by Shem Yahushai while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is still near. Now you, you still have the time of grace, you know. Prophets are out there on the highways and byways, you know, teaching this truth, you know. But people are walking by, you know, you listen to it, you just be like, okay, you know. But the days are coming in which, man, you're going to, you're going to wish you had a prophet right to teach you, you know. Because the day of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is terrible. The brother said he saw dead bodies, people burned, man, you know. Let's get the scripture. Get one in Isaiah first. No, no, it's, let's just go straight up to Amos. So you see, this is the book of um, Amos, chapter 5, verse 18. I start from verse 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shemiahushai. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh Shemiahushai is darkness and not light. Okay? As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent beat him, shall not the day of Yahweh Shemiahushai be darkness and not light? Even very, very dark and no brightness in there. You see, the day of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is dreadful. Okay? It's like, you know, you're running from a lion. Then you, you find yourself locked, you know. Finally, safety. Then you turn around, you see a bear, you know. You, you try to run, you put your hand on the wall and it's a, it's a viper, you know, striking you with some deadly poison. That's the day of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Is a terrible day, you know, if you don't have the, the seal, the mark, the tawa, okay, the exemption mark from destruction, there is nowhere you can hide, there is nowhere you can run to, you know, the powers that be, you know, the brother tells you that um, in the vision, they were shooting against the chariots, you know, but the chariots, you know, they were just, you know, making mockery of, of, of these people, you know, and that's how it's going to be. The mighty men of, of, of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man that you trust in, they're going to be like women in that day, you know? So when we when we coming out, you know, teaching this word week in and week out, you know, doing our best, you know, to preach this thing, this truth, you know, this is love, man. We're doing this because we fear the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And we're seeking for, for, for mercy in the day of trouble, you know? But certain people, you know, they just they just take this thing for granted. And you can see even the, the, the young man that had this vision, you know, uh, according to what you uh, the voice message you sent, he said at the beginning, he said this dream, he almost, he almost, um, he almost defecated on himself, really sleeping, you know, through the fear he had from the dream, you know. And this is just compared to nothing, you know. And then he said he saw people queuing, you know, they had a blue rope. Ah, there was something beautiful that he said. He said um, after the world destruction, he saw new kinds of plants growing, you know. And can this is what we actually expect him because this place is defiled, man. This place is destroyed. We're waiting upon a new heaven and a new earth, man, you know. Where all this corruption that the so-called white man has done, he saw he done, everything is going to be, you know, repristinated. You know, um, what's that scripture? Um, this is the book of Isaiah 24 5. It says, The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances, broken the everlasting covenant. This place is upside down, you know everything is destroyed if you're in your right mind you'll be praying for the kingdom of heaven to come you know that's why you know the apostle paul said we seek for
This is the book of 2 Peter 3.13. It says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And this is what we actually expect, man. Because this place is, is played out, man. You know, if the Most High would allow us to keep going on here, there is no flesh that's going to remain. Okay? So, I actually hope that i didn't you know i didn't babble too much i didn't say you know, too much unnecessary words you know i just try to 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 summarize the the vision because i would have loved to play the, the voice message but it's an italian and it's all good this is it you know so you sick the most i you how about shim yow shy ba shim that's why it may be found you know these visions have been have been given to various people in various parts of the world the day of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai is soon, is close, and that day is a terrible day. So repent and seek the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai now, while it may still be found. Hopefully, this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. Onto the next one, Shalom.